<laughs> Almost forgot. Why do you consume that? It's Good Omens is a fantasy miniseries that is a co-production between BBC Studios and Amazon Studios. It stars an ensemble cast which includes the likes of David Tennant, Michael Sheen, Adria Aranya, Miranda Richardson, Michael McKean, Jack Whitetail, John Hamm, and Frances McDormand. It has been favorably reviewed by critics and was nominated for numerous awards and even winning some. So far, only one six-episode season of The Good Omens has aired. The show is based on the novel of the same name by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman from 1990. Although the show is considered to be a faithful adaptation of the book, that means that it concluded with some finality, and there's been speculation that the show may continue for another season. Today, we're going to be talking about whether or not there could be a second season of Good Omens. You don't want to miss this. Also, please be warned that there will be spoilers for Good Omens. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're going to be giving away either an iPhone X Mac the new iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to enter the giveaway. It's that simple. First, let's talk about what the show is about. Good Omens takes place in the year 2018. In the show, a demon named Crowley, played by David Tennant, and an angel named Aziraphale, played by Michael Sheen, have lived on Earth for many centuries as representatives of heaven and hell. They've come to like living on Earth, and when the prospect of the coming of the Antichrist and with it Armageddon, or the end of the world appears, they do every Everything that you can to try and prevent the final battle between heaven and hell. Now, that might sound like a pretty serious plot, but it's actually the premise for a fun and often hilarious show. Next, let's talk about how the show got made. The writers of the novel, Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, tried to adapt Good Omens into a movie for many years. Various writers and directors were attached through the process. As far back as 2011, a TV series written by Jerry Jones and Gavin Scott was reported to be in the works, but of course, nothing came of it. Then, after Pratchett's death, Gaiman continued to try and get the show made to continue the objective of their partnership. An announcement was finally made on January 19th, 2017, that Amazon Prime was given the green light to a television series adaptation of the novel to be co-produced with the BBC in the UK. Gaiman adapted the novel for screen and also served as the showrunner for the series. The show was executive produced by Gaiman, Caroline Skinner, Chris Suzman, Rob Wilkins, and Rob Bob Brown. Principal photography took place over the course of six months, from September 2017 to March 2018. Shooting locations for the series included Cape Town, South Africa, and parts of England. The Soho area of London was used for the streets of Aziraphale's bookshop, which was actually created for the show, and was shot in Herefordshire at Bovington Air Base. A vacant building in Weybridge, Surrey was used as Heaven's corporate headquarters, and Hodgeback Wood, where Adam and his friends were in the show, was also filmed in Surrey. Blestro Park, near Jaren's Cross in Buckinghamshire, was used for the Satanic Covenant and Hospital, and later, the Corporate Training Center. The American Army Base is in Upper Hayford in Oxfordshire. Lastly, the Weld and Downland Living Museum in West Sussex was used to film Agnes Nutter's Burning at the Stake. When Gaiman and Pratchett wrote the novel, neither of them knew what a real 1926 Bentley even looked like, even though that was what was featured in the book. Instead, a 1933 model was used in the show, since it was more like what Gaiman had in mind. The car is valued at 250,000 pounds. Let's hope they were more careful with the real one than they were in the show. Who is in Good Omens? As mentioned previously, Good Omens features an ensemble cast of noteworthy actors and actresses. Of course, Michael Sheen plays Aziraphale, who is an angel that's lived on Earth since it was created. David Tennant plays Crowley, a demon who's also lived on Earth since it was created. Daniel Mays plays Arthur Young, Adam's father, and Simon Diane Brooke plays Deidre Young, Adam's mother. Ned Denny and Arian play the demons Haster and Linger. Nick Offerman appears as Thaddeus Dowling, the U.S. ambassador to the U.K. and father of Warlock. Anna Maxwell Martin plays Belzebub, the leader of the forces of Hell. Nina Sosana plays Sister Mary Lucretius, a nun of the Chattering Order of St. Beryl, a satanic order of nuns who are responsible for switching a human baby with the Antichrist.
Christ. Doom Mackian plays the Archangel Michael. Sam Taylor Buck plays Adam Young, the Antichrist. John Hamm plays the leader of the forces of heaven, the Archangel Gabriel. Hamm's role is unique because Gabriel was only mentioned once in the novel, but it was expanded in the unfinished sequel. Francis Dorman plays the voice of God and the narrator of the series. Adria Aranya plays Ananthema Device, Agnes Nutter's last descendant. Miranda Richardson plays Madame Tracy, a part-time medium and Cortesian. Michael McKean plays Witchfinder Sergeant Shadwell, the last officer of the once proud Witchfinder army. Jack Whitehall plays Newton Pulsifer, a struggling computer engineer and descendant of Witchfinder Thou Shalt Not Commit Adultery Pulsifer. Merely Enos plays War, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Bill Patterson plays R.P. Tyler, a member of the Tadfield Neighborhood Watch and neighbor of the Young family. Yusuf Gatewood plays Famine, another horseman. Lords Fabries plays Pollution, and Brian Cox plays Death, the two other horsemen. What happened in the one and only season of Good Omens? Well, be aware, there's going to be spoilers ahead. As previously mentioned, the show only has six episodes. In the beginning of the show, Aziraphale and Crowley met at the Garden of Eden right when Adam and Eve are expelled after Crowley tempts them. The story then moves to 11 years before the end of the world. Crowley delivers the Antichrist to a satanic covenant, after which the baby is given to an American diplomat and his family. There is a bit of a mix-up, and the Antichrist goes to a completely different family in England called the Youngs. Crowley and Aziraphale discuss the end of the world and agree to work together to prevent it. They both work to influence the boy called Warlock, who they then think is the Antichrist, not to be good or evil. Then, in the present day, at Warlock's 11th birthday, they realize they have the wrong kid. Meanwhile, the Hellhound of Prophecy finds Adam Young, who promptly named it Dog, initiating Armageddon. Aziraphale and Crowley begin searching for the Antichrist, and along the way, they come across an American occultist, Ananthema Device, who possesses a book from her witch descendant that can help find the Antichrist. Meanwhile, the four horsemen of the apocalypse begin to be summoned. In the third episode of the show, we begin to see many historical events that show Aziraphale and Crowley's relationship. Then, Ananthema interacts with Adam and Dog, and she gives them some environmental magazines. Aziraphale and Crowley separately contact Shadwell to locate the Antichrist. Meanwhile, the next horseman is summoned. Newt, the sole member of the army, is dispatched to investigate Tadfield. Crowley and Aziraphale meet to discuss progress on finding the Antichrist and have an argument, ending their partnership. Then, Adam falls asleep after reading the magazine, and his powers cause a nuclear reactor to vanish. Next, Adam's powers start to cause more crazy things to happen, and he starts being controlling of his friends. Aziraphale's relationship with Crowley is discovered by his superiors. The last two horsemen, Pollution and Death, are then summoned. Newt crashes his car on the way to Tanfield, and Adam and his friends bring him to an Anthemus cottage. There is a series of action sequences when both Aziraphale and Crowley are confronted about trying to prevent the end of the world. In the next episode, Crowley races through London and finds Aziraphale's bookshop on fire. Aziraphale ended up in heaven and states that he will not join the war, so he heads back to Earth without a body. Back on Earth, Aziraphale meets Crowley at a pub, and they decide to meet at Tanfield Air Base after Aziraphale finds a body to inhabit. He chooses Madame Tracy's body during a sequence and convinces her and Shadwell to help stop Armageddon. Crowley drives his Bentley through flames in a final confrontation with Haster. Adam's powerful, fully mindset, which scares away his friends and ultimately returns him to a regular human. Ananthema and Newt arrive at the airbase, joining Shadwell, Aziraphale, Madame Tracy, Adam, and his friends. The four horsemen arrive and take over the base's communications. Crowley arrives in his flaming Bentley as Adam announces he's here. To find out what happens in the sixth and final episode, if you don't know already, watch on Amazon Prime. Finally, will there be a second season of Good Omens? There's actually been no announcement by Amazon or even the BBC about whether or not Good Omens will be renewed for a second season. The viewership of the series has not been publicized, so it's not currently possible to know how many people actually have watched it. When a show is greenlit for another season, it is usually based on how popular that it was, which is indicated by viewership. If the information is made public, then that would give an indication as to whether or not another season would be coming. Regardless, as of right now, there haven't been any news about another season being in production, and as mentioned, Good Omens is based on a 30-year-old novel. That's why the show was billed as a miniseries. The book has a beginning, middle, and an end, and no sequels were ever made. The book's author, Terry Pratt, 
Ratchet and Neil Gaiman did intend to make a novel into a TV or movie for several years, but after Pratchett died of Alzheimer's disease, Gaiman originally had no intention of writing a sequel to the book or even making it into a TV show without the involvement of Pratchett. However, once Pratchett died, Gaiman did receive a letter from him urging him to make the book into a TV show. That means Gaiman made the show out of love and respect for his writing partner and to finish the project they started together. It may seem, given what was just said, that it is very unlikely there's going to be a second season. However, that's not entirely the case. Gaiman and Pratchett actually did work on a sequel for the novel for a few years prior to Pratchett's death, which does mean that there is some unpolished work with content that could possibly be used for a new season. If the show is actually determined to be a hit on Amazon and the BBC, then it's quite possible that it could continue. But only time will tell if another season will be made. So that wraps up our video about whether or not there's going to be a second season of Good Omens. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and comment below if you think that there will be a second season. We'll see you next time.